So first off, you'll notice in this video that there's one new item. My monitor. I've just got a brand new monitor from 2004, so not brand new, but new to me. It's 11 years old. It was only $13. It was the same resolution as my other CRT, but it's an LCD. Now, I do prefer CRT screens because they have better color, but unfortunately, I discovered that my ViewSonic is actually really warped, so the pixels are not the same size throughout the screen. So, you have a circle on one side, and if you move it across the screen, it turns to an oval, and then it turns back to a circle. So, I was having a lot of issues, graphical issues with that because things just weren't lining up and weren't looking right. And when you can't trust your eyes, there's no point in having the monitor. So I replaced it with that little LCD screen and I'm loving it quite a bit. Although, I could deal with the, with the color contrast and stuff like that on the, on the ViewSonic. But oh well. That ViewSonic is heavy and huge. I don't know how I'm going to get it to the recycling center. I'm going to take it very slowly on my tricycle. Then I went ran to Weird Stuff Warehouse, picked up a little BASF or BASF cassette tape, or sorry, VHS tape, video cassette I mean. I would estimate this to be late 80s, early 90s, but this would be good for whenever I get my VCR working because I purchased an old television, finally. I got it on eBay. It was $65, but free shipping. It's from 1988, it's 10 inches, and I really cannot wait for it to come in because I've just been, I've just really really been wanting an old television, one that's compatible with a lot of older equipment, and I'm getting so tired of all the high prices around here, like $130 for an old TV or something like that. Oh well, I'm not hurting for money, so $65 it goes to help some uh, some eBayer out there, and then I also got this. A box full of 1.2 megabyte five and a quarter inch floppy disks. Some are even red too. That's pretty cool. Look at that. It's funny because Weird Stuff Warehouse had an old TV from about 1978 or so. And it was black and white, kind of crappy, about nine inches. Oh, I'd say maybe 11 inches. And I asked them how, what the price would be on that, and they said, oh, nothing below $50. Then I turned around and asked them how much for this box of floppies, and they said $5. It's like, oh, okay. I've always found it interesting how things that are pretty valuable, a lot of us, people will, or I've always found it interesting how prices are all over the place. For some, for most places, that's why usually you can find a good deal no matter where you go, because you're always going to find something where they priced it really low, but it's worth a lot more to you, or it's worth a lot more to somebody else, and you can make a profit from it. That's always possible too, too. But yeah, I find it funny how people do that. They overprice some things and underprice others. But oh well. That's pretty much been my day, and it's been a pretty nice Saturday. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!